Hello, my name is Jacqueline Harris and I'm Vice Chair of the Star Forum. As you all know, after seeing Warren's fantastic interview with Sean Aldcroft, we are interested in getting to know our colleagues a little better. Today I'm with Neil Brooks, Director of New Business, who has kindly agreed to spend some time with me so we can get to know him a little better. Thank you for agreeing to speak to me, Neil. I have a few questions so we get to know Neil the Director and then some more light-hearted questions okay. so that we get to know Neil Brooks. Good morning. Good morning. So, is your background in social housing? Um, in the distant past, yes. So, I used to be a land buyer at Circle Housing in North London. Uh, and, uh, and then I left to join a developer. Uh, and then, more recently, a contractor developer. Um, but all the while I was working for those private sector organisations, I was working on the, of their affordable housing lead, really. So, I've kind of worked around the sector. And it's always been a really interesting place uh, for me. So, um, so here I am. So that's what led you into this. You decided into this sector. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I've always been quite close to it, albeit on the dark side, as it were. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of I've met a lot of really interesting, good people, uh, and I think the work that the sector is doing now is um, is really interesting. Um, it's, it's an entirely different um, world to that which I was working in ten years ago. Uh, much more commercial, um, much more um, innovative and able to look at a variety of ways of, of, of delivering housing, as well as other services as well. And that's the difference you found between the private sector and obviously this sector? Yeah, I mean the, the difference is they're not as significant as you might think actually, uh, not, not now because of is it exactly that, perhaps they were 10 years ago I think really. Um, I suppose the main a surprise to it won't come as any surprise to a number of my colleagues, but the biggest difference I've found is the, um, the governance and the compliance, mm -hmm. which kind of looms large over everything we do, um, and, and, and with good reason. Um, so that's that's been quite a cultural challenge for me, um, but um, but nevertheless, it's, it will be up to us to, to, to kind of work around that and, and make sure we're innovative and delivering what we say we're going to deliver around that structure and you know, I'm confident we, we, we're already doing that and yeah. we'll continue to do so. And um, as you know, North Hertfordshire Homes has undergone a lot of change prior to your arrival. Um, you've been here a little while now, so it would be interesting Three months. if you could share your first impressions um, of the organisation as it stands. Um, so did you find the workforce is engaged? Uh, yeah, yeah, really pleasantly surprised actually. Yeah, yeah, I think it's... Um, Given the, 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 the massive transformation, you know, seismic changes, um, and, and not, it's been a real pleasant surprise to see how driven and, and passionate people are actually. Um, so, so yeah, it's um, that, that's cause for optimism, I think. Okay. And you think the team has worked well together? Yeah, I think so. I think I mean that's interesting because I think the development function actually we, we've got some work to do. Um, you know, development's always seen as a bit of a dark art, I think, to to, to the sector quite often. Um, um, but nevertheless, obviously hugely important. Um, so, so some of the work we have to do is, is kind of um, making sure our, some of our colleagues are, are engaged and on board with the work that we do and understand the work that we do. And, and uh, we've got some fantastic people in our team and we're doing some fantastic work. And, and, and it's up to us to uh, make sure people know that. So, so that's something that will be um, uh, key for us in the next few, few months and ongoing. Um, and, and how the rest of the teams work, I, I, I'm still getting to grips with that. So hopefully, colleagues won't mind if I kind of kind of wander around and ask some stupid questions in the next um, in the next few months. I'm um, sure they won't mind at all. Good. So, um, and what is what are the most important qualities for a team to have, in your opinion? Uh, well, for for a development team, I think it's um, you know, I, I say it sounds um, it's not, not, not not supposed to sound cliche, but a, a, a lot of the values that the organisation has. Um, are replicated really in, in a good development team, you know, that kind of entrepreneurial kind of collaborative approach. So, um, you know, we, we have to be commercial, we have to be diligent, um, we have to watch how we manage costs, um, notwithstanding that we've got a wider objective uh, in the background as well. Um, so, uh, uh, they're the key issues really. I think, you know, when we've got, we've got all of those in the team already, um, really hard working, uh, really committed uh, and, and, and as I said earlier I think you know it's, uh, it's going to be up to us I think to make sure that people understand uh, understand the good work that's going on 
um, and, and I think the skill set is, is, is almost there. In the future we'll kind of add to it, uh, but it, it's, 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 um, it's a balance really, a development function, a, a developing housing association is, is that sort of commercial acumen um, that, that comes very naturally in the private sector, um, but balanced with our, our, some of our wider objectives which aren't just about um, being commercial. But we're almost there, just some tweaking to go, I think. Good, thank you. So let's get to know Neil a little bit now, okay? That you've been looking forward to. Yeah, this is the bit I'm particularly looking forward to, yeah. <laughs> So if you had to organise a charity event, what would it be? Ah, well, um, well, so I, so I run, uh, so I think um, probably the... Uh, the thing most of interest and, and easiest for me to get my head around would be some kind of uh, charity run. So I okay. run parkings, park marathons, and uh, that kind of thing. So, so something like that would be of interest to me. Yeah. Hopefully to others as well. Oh wow, that's that's really interesting. Um, if you could model yourself on any world leader, past or present, who would it be and why? Uh, oh gosh. Does that put you on the spot? Yeah, now? like. I don't know. I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? Because I don't know the personal qualities of those world leaders. I True. just you see that. So I think they're just as important, really, aren't they? Um, okay. Nobody, no recent leaders in this country spring to mind. Let's put it that way. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what's your favourite pastime then? Is it, would it? You said about running. Obviously, is that your favourite? Yeah. Yeah. I've got. I've got two uh, two young kids as well, so they take up a lot of my time, uh, and uh, and that's that's some obviously enjoyable stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I play football as well okay. uh, and, and run. I suppose they're the two kind of um, uh, sort of main uh, sport uh, pastimes I do. Try and read where I can, but increasingly get yeah, less and less time to do that. And when I do try and start reading, I tend to fall asleep now. That brings me to my next question. What is your favourite book? Yeah, good question. So at the moment, I'm reading Moby Dick with my son. Which I'm oh, really wow. enjoying, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's that's I guess some of that enjoyment is because I'm reading it with him. Uh, my favourite book is a bit dark actually, Marabou Stork Nightmares, Ooh. over in Welsh. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah, that's a bit dark. Yeah, I'm only okay. saying. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what people will make of no. that. Okay. <laughs> so now we've just got a few um, just fun questions. I'm just going to say, um, give you two words. If you just pick the one that you immediately link with, would be great. So metric or imperial. Metric. Trainers or shoes? Trainers. Running or cycling? Running. Book or Kindle? Book. Comedy or thriller? Comedy. PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox. <laughs> Summer or winter? Summer. Oh, lovely. Well, that's the end of our interview. Thank you very Fantastic. much for you giving you. me your time today. No, thank you for your really time. really enjoyed getting to know you better. Um, I hope that you feel that you know a little bit more about our new director than before you watched our video and are looking forward to seeing who will be speaking to us next. Thank you very much for watching.